I can't tell you how annoying it is trying to fix this mic, trying to make it sound the way it used to sound. And I was so frustrated. I was like, why is this not sounding normal? Why is it not sounding good? You hear the echo, you hear all that stuff. And I realized the mic right here, I didn't turn it the right way. So I was having it face the opposite way. So it's not gonna pick up the sound, it's gonna pick up the, you know, the reflection of the sound out here. So it didn't work. So now it probably sounds really good. Now I have to control my tone. I can't talk that loud. That's not in my DNA. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys have a good one. Hope everything's going well, even though nine times out of 10, hey, I know it's not the case, but hey, gotta keep on thriving, you gotta keep on striving, gotta keep on living. We actually killed it that time. I'm so proud, I'm so proud. Good stuff. Anyway, a lot of stuff we got going on for this weekend. It's gonna be a quick one. Um, we're heading over to Lake District to just go camp. Uh, it's more of a send off for one of my friends. He's gonna be deploying somewhere, so I'm not gonna see him for a long time. So naturally, I just wanted to give him a proper send off and go camp, go do stupid stuff, um, sit around a campfire, talk about stuff. Uh, just there's nothing like camping. I love it, I love it so much. It's gonna be a great little escape too, a great little mini escape because we got a lot of stuff going on with April. April is a great month. April is going to be incredible. It really is. I'm gearing up for an incredible month for April. The first week, to give you kind of a breakdown on how last week and the week before that goes, and overall the report for the month on how much we brought in for the company, right? So this entire last week was chaos. Controlled chaos to say the least, but definitely chaos to the point where naturally it was dry you know the, the bookings were you know the the sales calls weren't good um i was setting up a lot of follow-ups there wasn't really like any structure and i wasn't getting any sort of closes at all and follow-up 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 and i was like oh my god like we're probably not going to reach that goal of hitting over twenty thousand for the company or 25 around that and Lo and behold, the last day technically, which is yesterday, Thursday, we started getting one from last month and then a next one and then a next one and the next one and it started trickling down. So it was a good feeling, but I I really wanted to kind of go over when you ask, say like God for strength or you ask the universe, universe if you don't technically believe in God, that's fine. When you start asking for things, you start to get the opposite of what you wanted. And I think there's something poetic about that naturally because imagine if you were to ask for every single thing that you'd want and then you get it. There wouldn't be a story, there wouldn't be any drama, any attention to it. So I think it's so cool the fact that usually it's not gonna be the thing that you wanted. And in the moment you're probably like, well shit dude, like I don't wanna hear that man. Like I'd, I'd want the things that I'd, <laughs> I'd want. And it makes sense but <clears throat> when you come down to it, I asked, um, I asked God for strength. That was my big thing. I asked him for strength. I asked him for a lot of big things. And naturally, last week tested me. It tested me greatly. It tested my willpower. It tested my mind. Uh, it tested my patience, right? Um, we've talked about this so many times, about the porn addiction, about all that stuff. And I ended up folding. I folded last week. And that was after four months of being completely clean. It was a, it was a rough time. It really was. Uh, I had a moment where I just sat there and I was like, did we really just do that, you know? And it, it kind of came out of nowhere. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> anyway, um, it was just wild. <laughs> That's a wild one. But um, yeah, no, I, I had a moment I sat there and I, I told myself, I, I gave myself like an hour or two and I sat at the couch and I was just looking at um, the wall and I was like, we can either feel bad, we can either bitch about it, complain, or we can get up and just carry on. I think that's the lesson that I was trying to be taught throughout that time, you know, cause I was so cooped up, so uh, not even cocky, but I just felt like my shit was tight. Everything was good. And then I got humbled and I needed it. And so that's what I treated that as, you know, a lot of times throughout that time frame, I was so wired in, so dialed in, and I started losing that and it ended up happening, 
you know, and I feel like that was part of the big reason, you know, my, my brain was trying to overcompensate for everything that's happening right now and just the stress and I ended up folding. But that's no excuse. Look, it's at the end of the day, you're going to do exactly what you need to do, but there's no excuse as to why um, you should fold or why something like that should happen. But that's what happens when you ask for strength. You get tried and you get challenged and you get challenged. So if you keep on asking for more strength, you're going to get more challenges, which I think I'm going to keep on doing that because it's, it's been working out pretty well. I've been, you know, another thing too is I'm a huge wrestling fan, huge wrestling fan. And <clears throat> I treat everything like WWE. I treat everything like an actual um, commentary or promo. Okay. So in regards to you know every wwe uh storyline has a heel has a good guy has a bad guy has a buffer has something there has this so i treat it like uh, you know the days that i'm doing my sales calls are like monday night raw and friday night smackdown basically like they're they're leading up to something big or a pay-per-view but it's just not there yet but you still have to stay tuned and watch it so you still have to show up so that's that's kind of how i see it if you can treat your your life kind of like that and obviously, just keep on learning, keep on doing it. If you can treat your life like a storyline in WWE, I think it will be a very interesting life. <laughs> that's that's how I'm picturing it, right? I see Alicante as like WrestleMania, <laughs> WrestleMania for all of us. And to take you guys along with that, it's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be a lot to just learn and just be humble and grateful. That's why so April, we have no four days, no days off, no none of that. So I, it's gonna be a great way to just work my ass off, get as much as possible, push it. If I already know I'd made over 20,000 for the company, by all means I can make 40. By all means I can make 60. So this April is gonna be a wild one. This April we have a projection, right? We are trying to get to not trying, but we're gonna get to 4,000 in commissions. And so if you were to do the math, 40,000, something like that, but <clears throat> we are we are actively going to be pushing that because then May is kind of a little mini buffer. May, we got a trip over to Atlanta to um, do like my first salute for one of my buddies that's commissioning into the Air Force. That's gonna be wild, but uh, I wanna make sure I prioritize my time and I maximize it as much as possible so then when may is up and we're in alicante in june i can't even believe it when we're out there in june it's gonna be a great time and we're gonna learn a lot and be around other people that are doing the same thing that we're trying to do you see that a little bit you see that little turn around because you got to be around those people and you have to be willing to take those jumps that i think about it right the airbnb we we're splitting it all up it was like close to a thousand a thousand dollars just to do for the month and you know anybody could have batten an eye or been like oh man that's a lot of money i can't see myself justifying it but i always remind myself i'm like you're on these calls with these clients and they're thinking about it and all that they're a direct reflection of yourself so if you can't make a decision like this that's big and be comfortable making that decision and knowing there's going to be a reward at the end or knowing there's going to be something at the end even if there isn't then why are we having these calls with these clients trying to tell them what they should do? You're a hypocrite, basically. So I always remember myself, whenever I have a time where I'm like making a decision, I'm like, okay, act, act now, act. Either yes or no, act, right? Don't think about it, don't do all this stuff because then you're just gonna have a lot of unnecessary brain space put towards something that, you know, naturally, if you think about it way too long, you're never gonna do it. I should tell my clients that. <laughs> anyway. Um, that's that's really it. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I hope everything goes well. And uh, we're gonna close it off here. You're gonna see a little bit of a, a mini, uh, I guess you could say cinematic video of Lake District and uh, the few weeks to come, but we're gonna have a lot of stuff tied into that. So from top of world boundaries still don't exist, the bottom of depths or life still lives. Do you dare to dream? As a matter of fact, do you dare to take the next step? I'll see y'all later. <laughs>